CNN projects Donald Trump will win Kentucky. The Republican caucus is in Kentucky. Donald Trump will win in Kentucky. Donald Trump wanted this win badly. He wins in Louisiana. Now he wins in Kentucky. Cruz has won in Kansas. Cruz won in Maine. Let's take a look at the votes in Kentucky right now. There you see it right now. 84% of the vote is in. Donald Trump with 35.1%. Ted Cruz, 31.4%. A close race, but Donald Trump, CNN projects, is the winner, is the winner in Kentucky. That's the last contest of the night. We're going to see it as Jim Acosta. He's over in West Palm Beach where Donald Trump is getting ready to speak. Uh, uh, I, I assume all of his uh, right. friends over there are getting the word that he has won in Kentucky, and pretty soon Trump is going to come out and speak. Uh, that's right. Well, if this was a press conference, that basically became a watch party. Uh, the first seven rows in front of me are filled with his supporters. And I should mention the bar was reopened uh, several minutes ago. It's going to be hard to corral these people back into their seats. But yes, uh, as soon as you uh, announced the word here, Wolf, uh, people started cheering in this room. Uh, they're all waiting to hear what Donald Trump has to say in just a few moments, going two for two, uh, two for four. Uh, for the night. Uh, and obviously, he's going to have a lot to say. There are going to be a lot of questions from reporters back here in the room. We heard Donald Trump earlier today saying uh, that, uh, you know, that the laws need to be expanded when it comes to dealing with terrorist detainees, uh, torture. You know, it was just yesterday, Wolf, when he was saying we're going to stay within the laws when it comes to torture. And then he made this statement today at his rally in Orlando, uh, perhaps to the contrary. So I, I assume he'll be asked about that. Also, Wolf, these rallies that we've seen almost one after another, there have been clashes between protesters and security. What is Donald Trump doing to uh, make these rallies more safe, more secure? I suppose he'll be asked about that as well. Uh, so, so a lot of questions that are waiting for Donald Trump as soon as he walks into this room. Uh, the, the other big one, obviously, what is he going to do to get the Republican establishment uh, to get behind him at some point during the course of this campaign? It just has not happened yet. Uh, and, of course, we'll have to hear what he has to say to Ted Cruz and Marco Rubio and John Kasich on this night, which turned out to be a decent night for Donald Trump. Not a big night, not a huge night, like he's had in other uh, election nights uh, during this cycle, Wolf. But, but he is getting out of here with two wins tonight, Wolf. Two wins. Uh, thanks very much for that. Jim Acosta standing by. We'll hear uh, Donald Trump momentarily. He was waiting for this. Kentucky goes for Donald Trump. Louisiana goes for Donald Trump. But Cruz wins Kansas uh, and Cruz wins Maine. So two wins for Cruz, two wins for Trump tonight. That's right. And a win is a win. Uh, there's no question about that. But uh, part of the reason why it took a little while for Kentucky to be called is because, well, for several reasons, but one of the reasons is because Ted Cruz is not that far behind Donald Trump, and Kentucky is not alone. That's right, Dana. And you're right. A win is a win, but not all wins are equal. Mm -hmm. So the Kansas victory right now, and not every vote has been counted everywhere, mm -hmm. but uh, Ted Cruz has a 25-point win there, 25-point lead. In Maine, Ted Cruz wins Maine with a 13-point lead. The two Trump states, mm -hmm. Trump wins Kentucky by 3.7% and Louisiana by 4.8%. Ladies and gentlemen, well, the next well, president of the United States, Trump Mr. Donald Trump, is getting ready J. to speak uh, in West Palm Beach over at the Trump International Country Club. He's walking out now, as we had noted uh, for the last hour or so. He was waiting for the results to come in from Kentucky. He has won in Kentucky. Uh, earlier, he won in Louisiana. Uh, he won in Louisiana. Cruz won in Kansas. Cruz also won in Maine. So this is going to be an opening statement by Donald Trump. Uh, then he's going to take some questions from reporters. He's got his supporters in the front few rows. Thank you very reporters much. Reporters in the back. I greatly appreciate it. Nice to have you all at Trump International. It's uh, it's been a great club and a great success, and we appreciate it. Have so many of our members. It's beautiful. And with that, if you'd like, you know the press is among the most dishonest people ever created by God. So I would love to take a few questions from these dishonest people. Go ahead, press. No. John? John Scarpa, everybody. Hi, everybody. My name is Mike. This is my YouTube page, uh, Mox News. Thank you very much for tuning in. Okay, so uh, Donald Trump uh, held his primary victory speech, 
press conference. He took questions again after making a short statement. Um, it lasted about 35 minutes, so I'm not going to break it into three separate pieces. I'm going to post it at the Alternate Mox News YouTube page. Uh, it's rendering right now. It should be uploading in the next two or three minutes, uh, which means it will be ready approximately 9.30. It's a 35-minute speech. It takes a minute or two to upload, and then it takes a couple minutes to process. So um, I will guess it will be ready at 9.30. And um, and that's and then I'm gonna do a Bernie Sanders rally from today over there too. So if you want to see and there's a bunch of CPAC uh, videos from today, Marco Rubio from yesterday, Carly Fiorini and um, Ben Carson and Ted Cruz from yesterday at CPAC. So uh, the Mox News alternate page is a very valuable resource. Uh, for any videos over 15 minutes. So uh, in the text body of this video, right below the video, there is a small box that says uh, alternate Mox News YouTube page and there's a clickable link right there. You just click it and it'll take you right over to the C-SPAN Junkie page or alternate Mox News YouTube page which is a C-SPAN Junkie page um, or it used to be. <clears throat> we'll have to talk about C-SPAN Junkie one of these days. Um, and uh, and it would be good to see you guys over there. It would be really good if you guys would subscribe over there. There's lots of good, lots of good video to watch over there. And uh, right now there's a copyright violation on this page for a few more months. Um, so uh, it would be really good if you guys... So I won't be able to upload any videos over 15 minutes. The copyright violation was uh, posting a presidential debate so you guys know but uh, the Fox News debate that I posted a couple nights ago is still up and running it's got 20,000 views uh, that's uh, let's see that was from Thursday night so and uh, and I'll put a clickable link to that in in this uh, in the text body of this video also right below the video little box says alternate Mox News YouTube page click here there'll be two links so you can go and watch the debate. I'll put a label one debate. Um, and then there's also a way to make a contribution. be very nice of you if you would put something in my bowl. Okay. Uh, if you don't put something in my bowl, uh, that will be the end of my community. So if I'm not doing anything of value for you, then I'm wasting a lot of time anyways. We don't need to be wasting this much time, your time. I can waste time however I want, but I don't need to waste you guys' time. So if I'm not doing something of value for you, then I understand. And and that's the whole, you know, in this sense, we think of begging as a spiritual purity because it's a, it's a cosmic balance. If you don't think that I'm giving something to you that's of value, I will know that by you not giving anything back. Okay? So uh, I like it when people buy me lunch. It means the world to me that you took a couple minutes out of your busy day, your busy, busy life, and and put a little something in my bowl. Bought me lunch. That's I really like lunch a lot. So <clears throat> thanks for tuning in. Please go and subscribe to the Alternate Mox News YouTube pages. Uh, you probably want to check out the Donald Trump press conference from tonight. It's a, it's a really different thing. I've never seen a presidential candidate on a, on a primary night and a victory type of speech take questions. It's a, it's a, it's, this guy has definitely got his own style. There's no doubt about that. So thank you again. It's you guys that make Mox News worthwhile of value to the world. Without you guys, uh, it's, this is really a meaningless endeavor, and that's the reason why it's so important that you subscribe to the alternate pages. Because because uh, if you're not there, it, it just doesn't have as much value as it does when you are there. Don't you know? Just like everything. So thanks again for tuning in. Thanks for your continued support. One of these days, this war is going to end. Hopefully Mox News will be there with you to cheer on that day.
Compassion stirred the Buddha to send his monks out into the community. Sworn to chastity and poverty, they wandered the roads, bringing the Buddha's teachings into the world. Go forth, monks, for the happiness of the many, out of compassion for the world. There are beings whose eyes have little dust on them, who will perish if they do not hear the teaching. But if they hear the teaching, they will gain liberation. The monks exist by begging. We think of begging as kind of a bad thing. Begging in this tradition is a good thing. It's a sign of spiritual purity. You're not allowed to beg tomorrow's lunch today. Only today's lunch. Then you can't eat from noon until dawn the next day. Then you have to go out and get another lunch. And then in exchange for lunch, you give a lecture. Unless they say, we don't want to hear about it, then you don't. But that's the only thing you, but that forces you to interact with the lay community. And if you're not serving them, if you're not doing something useful for them, they won't put anything in your bowl and that will be the end of your community. 